With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to look at the given options and select the one which is not a distinguishing feature of the angiospermic family Solanaceae. So Solanaceae is a family of angiosperms or flowering plants which is also commonly known as a potato family. So we are going to find dicotyledonous plants in this family and many members of this family are of high economic importance also. So if we talk about the morphology of the flower in this family, if we look at the floral formula, we can represent a typical flower of the potato family in this way. First of all, we are going to put this symbol because the symmetry in the flower is going to be actinomorphic. We are going to find radially symmetrical flowers in this family. Then after that, we are going to put this symbol to denote that the flowers are bisexual. They have both androsium and gynosium. Then we start with the whorls of the flower. When it comes to the calyx, we have five united sepals. Then in the corolla also we will have five united petals. Then in the androsium we will see that we have five stamens which are joined to the petals. So we will call them epipetalous. And in the gynosium we will see we have a superior ovary which is bicarpillary and syncarpus. So just by looking at this floral formula we can identify the morphological features of the flower. So first of all they are saying syncarpus ovary with swollen placenta. So both of these things are correct regarding the gynosium of a solanaceae flower. We have superior bicarpillary ovary and syncarpus condition is seen because we have put parenthesis we have put bracket over this two just to show that these two carpels are fused with each other so syncarpus condition swollen placenta and many ovules in this placenta this is characteristic feature of angiosperm family solanaceae then they are saying synandrous epipetalous stamens so this is incorrect because these stamens are epipetalous, they are connected to the corolla, that is right. But they are not synandrous, they are free, they are not fused with each other. Otherwise, there would be a bracket over this 5 also. But since this is not the case, we cannot call them synandrous. Apart from this, all are correct. If we look at the other options, persistent calyx, yes. Even in the fruit, we are able to see the remnants of the sepals. And estivation is valvate. Then... About the fruit, they are saying it's either a berry or capsule with many endospermous seeds. So that is also correct. So the feature which is not correct for our solan AC or our potato family is option B because the stamens are epipetalous but they are not synandrous. They are not fused with each other. They are free. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.